missed sheepdog tales. It is the middle of winter on Burrow Farm, and the twins, Fred and Ted, are kept warm by their thick fleeces. But the cold weather has left their grass flavorless. Poor old grazing, eh, Ted? Too true, Fred. I'll be glad when the shepherd starts bringing food to us. Good morning, gentlemen. Oh, hello there, young lady. You new here, my dear. Oh, that's right. You won't find much food in there, my love. Oh, looks like she could do with some, though. Oh, that's right. Never seen a duck as skinny as her. Oh. Or as clumsy. <laughs> the new arrival at Barrow Farm, an Indian runner duck, was not interested in sheep feed or grass, but something else, a home. Excuse me. I was hoping you could help me, please, madam. Who are you calling, madam? Oh, I do apologise, sir. I'm new here, see? I'm Miss Longbody, and I need a pond for the winter. I'm not sure you can stay here, dear. You're not at all like us. Oh, look, she's ever so thin. There's nothing on her. You need feeding up. Get some meat on those bones. I know. Let's take it to the sheep food shed. Follow us, though. Not realising that the visitor was an altogether different breed, the ducks took poor Miss Longbody to the sheep's food shed. There we are. Neck a load of that. And we'll have you looking like us in no time. Dig in. Oh, I'm not sure. I think I just came out of a long, thin egg. Oh, don't be daft. Get a beak. Oh, oh, get it down, you puss feathers on your chest. Oh, oh. oh. OK. Oh, mm. Mm -hmm. They are quite delicious. Cool. Uh, that was a slap up. I reckon I might sink. <laughs> Miss Longbody still looks very thin, though. We'll have to send her back tomorrow for some more. Good thinking, dear. Morning, Helen. How's the weather up there? Oh, rather nippy. But I have my pyjamas on, so all's well. The ducks are not the only ones with a winter guest. Helen Horse is sharing her stable with a very unusual visitor. Larger than a goat, but smaller than a llama, he is Alfie, an alpaca. Thanks for letting me share your stable, Helen. Much obliged. Nay, nay, Alfie. Plenty of room, especially for you. You're very small for a pony. Pony? No, 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 no. I'm an alpaca. Ah, uh, what? Don't be silly. Silly, you're a pony from the riding school. No, I, I said I'm an alpaca. You think I don't know a pony when I see one? You need to fill yourself up at the sheep food shed. That'll make you grow. Now off you go, Alfie. Second on your left. Poor Alfie followed Bossy Helen's directions and found the shed full of sheep food, where he stayed and munched all afternoon. Hello, I'm Miss Longbody. Oh, I'm Alfie. Pleased to meet you. Oh, Alfie, you're still far too small. I ate as much as I could, Ellen. Oh, well, there's always tomorrow. And the next day. And the next. Gobbling their way through sheep feed. And every day, the ducks were disappointed that Miss Longbody didn't look the same as them. How do I look? Do I look like you yet? No! Oh. And Helen Horse was annoyed that the alpaca hadn't grown into a pony. You'll never make the Gymkhana like that. <laughs> well, Ted, weather's no better. No, nor's the grass. Oh, look, there's Mist. Yeah, over here, dog. What's the problem, Fred? No, I'm Ted, he's Fred. No matter, though, um, we both need you because we're both hungry. OK. We'll go and check in the feed shed. Now you're talking. My stomachs are rumbling at the thought. <laughs> we'll soon sort out Fred and Ted. There should be lots of food left over from last... <gasps> what a mess! We've had thieves! Burglarers! Burglarers! What's all the hoo-ha about you two? You woke me up. We've been burglarised! And they've eaten most of the food! Oh, well, they weren't very careful, thieves. Look, they've left their whoopsies. Great. We'll be able to work out who they were. My speciality! Leave it to me! 
Uh, one quite large, one quite small. Interesting. Mm. Oh, a cloven hoof print and a white feather. Interesting indeed. Aha! I got it! Well, who are they? A white cockerel and a camel. A white cockerel and a camel. I'm absolutely certain. A camel. A camel! Well, I'll look for the cockerel. Great! I'll go get the camel. And I'll go back to bed. Good night. Mr. Camel! Mr. Camely! Mm, I can smell his camely smell. And, um... Oh! Oh, what was that? Oh, my mistake. Nothing at all. Very strange. Mr. Camel, are you here? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Excuse me! No, no! It's a, it's a fox! It's a, was it a fox? It's okay, Lada. I just need to ask. Well, you can't. I get away with you, I said. Oh, dear. Oh, I'll only be quick. Uh, not quick enough for me. I'm a very busy hair next to night. Oh, calm down, Heather. I just need to know if you've got a white cockerel. Well, that's none of your business. Please, what colour is he? I'm trying to catch a thief. Well, I didn't do it. I didn't steal nothing. Yes, I know. What colour is your cockerel? He's brown. Thank you, Heather. Goodbye. Well, that was a waste of time. We don't even have a white cockerel. Hang on. A white duck. And that's definitely not Joyce. Oh, Camel! Oh, Camel! Camel! Will you keep the noise down? All right, don't get the ump. I'm just looking for a... Eh? Oh, the snake. Oh! See you later, Helen. Aha! There he is at the top there. A camel! Now, their eyesight is based on movement, I believe. If I stay very still, he should walk right past me. Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. Follow the camel. There he is. Oh, he's a funny looking thing, isn't he, the camel? You're not going to get away that easily, old long neck. Thought you'd given me the slip, eh? <laughs> Caught in the act! That's it, my strange little thieving camel in friend. Into the feed shed. In you go. <laughs> Miss, look what I found! What? <gasps> oh, you're weird. Again. Oh, yeah. See, I was almost right. A white duck and a lesser humped horsey sheep camelette. I think it's a llama, Jake. A llama? Well, well I'll be jiggered. <laughs> no, actually, I'm an alpaca. Oh, sorry. False llama. Well, llama or not, you're stealing the sheep food. So alpaca your bags and get out. You too, ducky. Oh, oh I'm ever so sorry. I, It's, it's the other ducks. They're trying to make me look like them. Helen Horse is doing the same to me. But that's balmy. You'll never look like them, however much you eat. Have you ever tried talking sense to Helen Horse? Or Joyce and Jessica? They're all chat. And no listen. Well, it's about time they did listen. Come on. Mist explained to Joyce and her friends that Miss Longbody was a different type of duck and that they should accept her as she was, which they did. Make yourself at home. Letting her live with them in their pond. So, my dear, let me escort you around the lily pad. Thank you. Oh, haven't you got lovely eyes? Whilst Jake told Helen that her stable mate was not a pony, but was a... An alakabakakakapaka. A kalamalapaka. A palakamanaka. Oh, this is it. A kalapaka kaka kalamanapaka. An alpaca! That's what I said. Well, why didn't you say so, Alfie? Now then, come in from the cold. I have a spare pair of pyjamas you can borrow. Oh, <laughs> a llama in pyjamas. He's an alpaca. Oh. Don't you ever listen. Hurry up. Hurry up, Alfie. I'm not sure, Helen. It's a bit big. With the guests happy in their new homes, Jake, Mist, and the boss were finally able to feed the sheep. Oh, Fred, listen to that. Best sound in the world. 
Oh, dig in. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh, thank you, mister. Thank you. Oh. Mm. Worth the wait. And we'll be here again to see Miss Dawn Windcutter die.